MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Durham Bulls. Ladies and gentlemen, your Durham Bulls. Chris Archer, a right-hander from North Carolina, is the man on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. So now into the box is Austin Meadows. He will lead this Leading one off, off today. For Tampa Bay, the designated hitter. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Grounded to first. Scooped up. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there's your first out of the ball game. That second. The left fielder, Randy Orozarena. So bases are empty with one gone. And up next will be Randy Orozarena. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit hard to the right side. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. That is good. Up next for the Rays, Brandon Lau. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here's the pitch. Good off speed pitch. Had him out in front for strike one. Oh, I just don't understand that swing. The first two guys made outs on just one pitch. What are they doing up there? Haley is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Tyler Glasnow, the California born right hander is on the mound. Dan any thoughts? Two words Matt high ceiling. This guy has a chance to be one of the most dominant pitchers in all of baseball. Big, tall, strong guy with a big power arm and a nasty hammer curveball. If he's throwing strikes with his fastball and his curveball, he's nearly impossible to hit. So here is Wander Franco. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Lifted down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting second, the center fielder. Stepping up is Nick Schnell. First offering on its way, and he fouls this one off. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead, get the offense. Meanwhile, here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. That is good. The third baseman. Stepping in now, Miles Mastroboni. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Right side, but it's well foul. in the air out to center field. Kiermaier on the run. He gets there to put it away but the runner tags and breaks for third. Next to stand in is G-Man Choi. Runner in scoring baseman. position with Sugan. From the stretch here's the pitch. Hammers it to deep right field. Margo's going back and just short of a home run this ball's off the wall. The run is in to score and they take an early one nothing lead. Boy that has to feel good as a hitter D where you get that base that hit to give your team the lead you the have to feel field. good when you get yeah. down to first base. Yeah it's just a nice approach you see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout 100 percent not trying to do too much able to quiet the moment down center himself and come through in a big spot. At the plate, Jim Haley swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. 
He can't get there so the inning will continue. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. One team's dream inning is another team's nightmare that right. It. That's their third right. hit of this opening right. inning. This one a double. That's got to have the pitcher pretty upset out there and the manager wondering how long he's going to go in this one. To the plate now Grant K. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. He's set the 0 1. This one's down to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And that'll play their second run of the game as they take a 2 0 lead. That is seven. The designated hitter, Taylor. Into the box, Taylor Walls. Right side, fair ball down the line. In to score, the runner from third. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. You always want to spot your pitcher a run or two early on, so he has a little bit of wiggle room, but that double, they're at 3 nothing and absolutely cruising. If this guy on the mound doesn't find a way to get some outs, He's going to be heading to the showers before some of the fans are even in their seats. At the plate now, Tristan Gray skied into straightaway right. Heading after it is Margo. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So they strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The Bulls are in front here, three to nothing. New inning set to get underway. And next to bat will be the first, the first baseman, baseman, Yandy Diaz. Yandy. And now pitch on the way. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Gray is there. One pitch, one out. That is it. The third baseman, Joey Wendell. No one on with one down and digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Now the first pitch. Hit down the line at first but a foul ball here 0 and 1 Archer has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games the kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. Swing and a liner. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. That is it. The right fielder, number 13, Manuel Margot. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch of the AB now. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Schnell is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Rays go in order one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. Ready now is Francisco Mejia. He's set to lead off the home half the of the Bulls. second. The catcher, Francisco Mejia. Here's the first pitch. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first in time, one away. The batter, number five, shortstop, Wonder. Go. Back to the top of the order now, and in to swing the bat next is Wander Franco. First offering on its way. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Margo on his horse. He gets there, and that's the second out. Next, it'll be Nick Schnell. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. 
Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Around second, he's on his way to third. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. In now, Miles Mastroboni as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4 nothing advantage now. Hey, there's a clean the base hit right there, D-Ro, to drive that runner sure. in from third base. Yeah, he was telling the boys, get it ready right here. I'm going to walk home on this one. That was easy to read through the hole. And he was able to take his time scoring from third. G-Man Choi the next to hit. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Now Everybody back. wants Left up field. at the plate right now. Yeah. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger yeah. early, and it's working. So now to the plate, Jim Haley, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. The 0-1 on its way. Chopped at third. And it's too late as he's in there. And this will go down as an E5 as you can see the exasperation on his face. Bases full now following the error. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Grant K. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. One run is scored. Throw won't get him. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game. Now it extends that. his the team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Boy, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI right there for a little bit more breathing room. Into the box now, Taylor Walls. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. One pitch on its way. Popped him up. Diaz has a play. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. So three runs on four base hits, one error in the inning, and a couple of men left. We played two full. The Bulls lead it six to nothing. Matt Vaskersian back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak as Kevin Kiermeyer settles in to start the inning. Now the first pitch. Hit hard towards center, and the Rays are in the hit column. Ambush tactics right there, but he didn't try and do too much. He stayed in there and just drove it back up the middle. Here now is Mike Zanino. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Kiermeyer gets his lead at first, nobody out. And here's a ball out towards straightaway center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So next to hit is Willie Adamas. The shortstop. Willie Adamas. He's set. Here it comes. 
And my gracious, that really drilled him as it rolls toward the first baseline. No chance to make a play. Let's see if he's okay out there. And with that play no, over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Stepping in now, Austin Meadows. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. When this thing left the bat, I thought it had three-run homer written all over it. But it bounces off the wall, so only one run scores. And now a chance for his buddy to return the favor and bring in one or maybe two. Here's Randy Arozarena as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And that is off the wall. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. At the plate, Brandon Lau, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. Up next, Yandy Diaz. Though they might pitch around him here with a couple of bases empty. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. Gray is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, this was a great three-inning game with a lot of action. Very rarely in a short, abbreviated game do you get to see a slugfest like we were able to watch today. Six to three, the final score today. The Bulls scored in every single inning on the way to victory. Chris Archer pitches well enough to get the W. Tyler Glasnow only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Here now is our final line score.